Hello collectors, the Super Dave here. I'm uh, going to talk about the Sideshow Collectibles uh, Batman, the new release, classic style Batman. I uh, did an unboxing. Uh, I started talking about some of the things, but uh, I did want to save uh, some more of my thoughts for an actual... Uh, I don't want to call it a review. I don't like the idea that I'm a reviewer or anything like that. I bought this toy. I spent my money on it. And I'm going to talk about what I like, what I dislike. And you can make your own decision about what you want out of it or whether or not it's for you. Uh, hopefully I give you enough information uh, to make that decision for yourself or not. Uh, that's up to you. So as you can see, uh, I did do my unboxing. I've got him uh, posed here. He does stand really well on his own. Uh, I've got the uh, box behind him. That's the uh, back side. This is the over the front or the top lid. Um, just got it up there to be a little bit of a backdrop while I do talk about this. You can see this is everything he comes with right here uh, before your eyes. This is, you know, the figure himself, uh, the stand, the support. I've got this, uh, the little grabber taken out and I've got the uh, Sideshow exclusive Bruce Wayne head sculpt uh, just kind of hanging out right there. Uh, we'll talk about that. And then two Batarangs and two extra pairs of hands for a total of six hands and two Batarangs. So like I said, my unboxing really light on the accessories. So if you saw my unboxing, you saw how there's three trays. Um, I don't know why they needed three trays, but I guess that's what they did. Um, especially for for what he comes with. I don't, I don't really think he needed three trays just for, for this, but whatever. Um, we're going to talk about the figure, so let's take a look at him. You see I've got a nice uh, heroic pose here. Um, I'm not real sure where to be in. I guess let's just go from the top down. You got a nice head sculpt here. I really, really like this head sculpt, and I can't really say that enough. A great head sculpt. It's a pretty rubbery head, so your little bat ears or whatever, uh, they've got some flex to them. So he, you know, if heaven forbid he should take a tumble off your shelf or something land right there these aren't going to snap off or anything they're, uh, they're they've got some give to them but i love the uh just the detailing in the scowl if you will the scowl on the cowl the uh i like the white eyes that's a, a kind of a classic look that uh, reminds me of some of my old old uh the little toys from uh, i don't even know who made them they were like the secret wars uh superman batman uh, Dr. Fate, Green Lantern, Red Tornado. I had just tons of those figures. Uh, but this, uh, the white eyes remind me of that, that real classic look. Uh, so you can see, it's all plastic, of course. The, no mouth plate. That's all a solid sculpt. It's a great sculpt with great detailing, great apps, uh, paint apps. Uh, very, very photogenic, I think. Uh, so you can see, of course, this different material, obviously, rubber head or uh, plastic. And then you're going to get into the material on the neck, which is the cape. It's all one piece. And uh, this cape is just fantastic. It's, made, it's a stretchy material, uh, kind of like, and forgive me my uh, textiles, knowledge of textiles and the vernacular is lacking. It's, it's, it's a stretchy Kind of like Under Armour or athletic uh, uh, athletic wear. So uh, it's huge. It's a really, really big cape. I don't even know if you can see all that. Um, but it drapes on him. I mean, you got so many options. You can pretty much close it all the way up in front. And... Uh, have him stand in there or toss it over his shoulders. 
and it's almost hard. I mean, I, I, it's really hard to make this cape look bad on him. Almost no matter what you do, it ends up draping just right, really well. I mean, whether you fold it over or tuck it under or it, it is very consistent and looking good and giving Batman a really good profile and really good uh, appearance overall. I mean, it, <laughs> the cape really ties the suit together. Uh, so there you have that. And uh, since we're talking about heads, let's go ahead and swap this head out real quick. And we'll see what uh, old Bruce Wayne's Michael Shannon's head looks like. I'm sure you've all heard. Uh, there's a popular opinion going around that uh, the head, the uh, Bruce Wayne head looks like uh, Michael Shannon, the actor. So pops off real easy. Uh, just pretty basic head. And you got the uh, double ball joint here on the neck. So there's this is uh, kind of like the barbell, ball here, ball there, and then there's another uh, swivel point down in the bottom of the neck, and I'll show you why that's cool here in a minute if you don't already haven't already figured it out. Same thing on the inside. I did point this out on my unboxing. Uh, the Bruce Wayne sculpt has this blue paint app all the way around, which is going to help blend. Uh, into the uh, the suit, the cape. So, pop this guy on, and there you have Batman unmasked. Let's see if we can let's adjust just a little bit here. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing the head sculpt on the uh the figure that's a it's an interesting look it's got kind of a giraffe neck look if you ask me doesn't that seem like it's just a little too long something something just something not quite right about it i mean that's that's on there i can't push it down much further at all so you know that's what it's gonna what it's going to be probably if from certain angles certain perspectives it's going to look fantastic but looking at it straight on maybe it's just the camera too i don't know it looks a little distorted it looks a little giraffey um i'll have to mess with it i'll have to play with it a little bit but i don't know from there it looks all right you know maybe like i was saying maybe certain angles look better than others uh but that, uh, this neck is going to give you some really moody, uh, I guess, options uh, for your poses. Bruce looking down, contemplating, you know, he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, or at least the weight of Gotham. Uh, a lot of options with this neck. I, I'm really happy with the neck uh, posability. So I'm going to swap this back out. I really like that blue paint app. It, it uh, provides a good transition from the ca uh, cape to the uh, the uh, skin tone. You know, I don't know. I, I can see the Michael Chan resemblance, definitely. And in any of the pictures I looked at prior to uh, receiving this, I, I wholeheartedly agreed. Like, yeah, that looks like Michael Shannon. You know, like give him a little bit of a soul patch or something and uh, you got general zod i'd like to see the general zod head sculpt right next to this one that would be a an interesting comparison but in person i gotta say it's not as bad it doesn't look um i'm seeing less michael shannon here than i than i am i was prior to having it in my hands so i'm glad i got the exclusive i'm glad i got this sculpt i would say it's worth it uh, to spend the extra money to, and not only that to at least get some other accessory than a couple batarangs right I mean every figure comes with uh, spare hands nowadays right I can't think of any figure that I've bought in the last couple years that didn't have at least two extra sets of hands even you know closed fist open palm 
and then whatever else, right? Gripping hands. I mean, that's pretty much common. So what we're looking at here is this figure comes with two batterings. Uh, those are the accessories and the extra head if you're going to pay for it. And I'm, I'll say at least at this point, it, this far into the video, if you're going to buy this guy, scrape up the extra 20 bucks and get the extra head. Just, you know, I, uh, yeah, scrape up the extra 20 bucks, get the extra head. So I'm going to swap out the heads again. And while I'm doing that, there's old Bruce. Let's, uh, I'm going to show you the cape. So this whole thing is the cape. We're going to just slide it right off the neck. And you can see that uh, th there's uh, this blue collar, turtleneck style collar underneath the uh, cape. And it's sewn onto the gray part of the um, suit. See real quick, the bat belt is Velcro just by this uh, one little square of Velcro, which is a nice feature, I think. I don't know how the other bat belts have been attached, you know, in the uh, comic style versions, but uh, that's that's convenient. Um, so no seam down the back, which is kind of what I've, I I was expecting to be honest. I did find it if we pop off the belt real quick. And pull down the, um, I don't even know what you'd call that, the, the briefs. That's, uh, this is pretty much how he's sewn together. This is very obviously uh, an after assembly so I don't know what you, I don't, again, I don't know the vernacular. Uh, so it's smooth in the front. And then uh, work your way around and... Somehow or another, that's how they uh, get the body or the suit over the body. So I was uh, kind of expecting to do a body swap. And to be honest with you, I don't know if that's going to work uh, the way that's sewn together. So I'm going to have to do some thinking. And we'll talk about why I think I need to do a body swap here in a minute. Real quick, let's since I got the belt off, let's talk about that. Uh, so like I said, the little Velcro patch in the back that you never see because of the cape. Uh, nice, shiny, not too lustrous, but it's got a good sheen to it. Uh, brass or gold buckle. It's not metal, of course, but it's got a nice uh, metallic luster to it. And three pouches on either side. Got a nice paint. Uh, they're yellow with a nice paint uh, weathering. And then the silver buttons. Now, each of these is individual and can be moved around the belt as you see fit. If you want to space them out a little bit or clump them up right up to the buckle, maybe just offset them from the buckle a little bit, uh, you got some options there, which uh, if this guy gets parted out, uh, I can see maybe picking up some extra pouches and you could uh, you could fit them all the way around or just have a cu custom belt made if you wanted to. I think we could have done with a, a few more pouches on him. Uh, sorry, out of the light there. So I'm going to set this aside for just a sec. We're going to go down the body. Um, here's my big problem with him and this I knew this going, I knew this when I purchased him. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know how much I hate this. That is the extent of the bend in his elbow. That right there. That's, I'm not even sure you could call that truly 90 degrees. It's just shy of a right angle. So that's what you get out of it. The uh, arm underneath is very muscular. Uh, you can see his triceps there. Um, uh, it's got really developed deltoids. Uh, when you pull, you, uh, there's plastic underneath the gauntlet when you pull them out of the box. So you, you take the uh, hand off and the gauntlet slides off. Gauntlet's rubber, including the little fins. The whole thing's rubber, so it's, it's very malleable, uh, easy to work with. Uh, when I did that, I uh, tried to push up the sleeve to see uh, what 
kind of arm was underneath here, or at least to get a better look at it. And I can't because this, this material is not as stretchy. It's a different material than the cape, and it doesn't stretch like the cape does. Uh, so I, I couldn't get the, the uh, sleeve up more than a half inch, maybe. It looks like the body is all gray underneath, and there are veins. I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not, but there's veins molded into the arms. And it's not, even from what I can see right here, it's not a uh, an arm sculpt I've seen before. Now that... Take that with a grain of salt. I haven't seen a whole lot of arm sculpts, or especially the uh, the musculature ones. It's not. It's, I'm trying to think. The only other uh, probably bare armed figure I have would be the Hot Toys Punisher, and it's not an arm like that. I did have the Hot Hearts. Wade Wilson and those it's not that arm either so I don't know if they got a well now that I say that here's the uh, Hot Toys Punisher arm which it's a little bright let's see if we can it, it's not that arm it's definitely not this arm there's a different elbow joint uh, and the, the deltoids are shaped differently so i don't know i don't know if it's uh it's a new sculpt from uh sideshow or w what the deal is if anybody takes it off i'd be uh, interested to see the body that's underneath if i ever get around to doing this because you guys know if you've watched my videos i freaking hate this i hate uh lack of a double jointed elbow especially on a, a figure where the joint is covered i mean there's why on God's green earth would you do this? The joint is hidden. It's, this is not for aesthetic value. You know, on the Punisher, he's wearing a short sleeve shirt. So maybe we don't want that double joint. Uh, I'm on the fence on that one too. I think I would have preferred to have the uh, posability of a double joint, even on a uh, short sleeve shirt guy. But here we have a full sleeve jumpsuit. There's no reason in my mind to do a... Uh, a joint like this now I understand I can I can concede that maybe to get this musculature on the sculpt of the arm you would want to do that uh, to keep the suit from making weird weird shapes uh, when you fold it I, I guess but still I mean and again for 200 and whatever dollars you're not getting any other accessories except a couple batterings, an extra head. If you pay the extra money for it, give me a freaking double joint, man. I mean, this is this is uh, this was almost a deal breaker. So, and to be quite honest, I only went ahead with my purchase <clears throat> because I believed I'd be able to do a body swap, and and that is still uh, my intent. So, going back to it to get off my soapbox. Uh, the chest feels rubbery. It, it's got that, those funny little, I don't even know what you call them, like the lats that maybe, uh, no, those aren't lats. Um, the, the Punisher and the Deadpool body had, I don't, I guess, and probably maybe Wolverine. I don't, I don't know. I don't have the, uh, other sideshow or I've got Deadpool, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's rubber right there. So I don't know really what's underneath. And then, uh, of course, the legs, they feel smooth. There's a, just smooth, hard plastic. And we get that for the knee. So it's not, it feels like a double joint. There's a, a, a rotation there, I guess, or a bend, or an articulation, I should say. And one there, so I guess... That would be a double joint, but I guess because of the uh, the musculature and the sculpt of the leg, we're not going to get uh, more than that. As far as the hips, we can get, you know, pretty much common, uh, your standard, even maybe a little bit more, which is good. I mean, Batman is supposed to be pretty limber dude. 
uh, crouching around on rooftops and gazing down at Gotham City, watching the things transpire. So I'm, I'm happy with the leg articulation. I'm satisfied with it. I think that's appropriate, but uh, Hot Toys, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Sideshow, you guys really dropped the ball on this elbow articulation. Um, <laughs> I really can't, can't excuse that. So I'm going to put the cape back on. And like I said, you just find that sleeve. You want that seam, obviously, in the opening in the front. And pull it down real good because you don't want it bunching up around that uh, that uh, ball joint there. And then we're going to pop. I'm just going to pop the uh, regular head back on. And you can see it all tucks up nice and neat into the head sculpt. And there's your caped crusader. Let's put his belt back on. And we'll talk about the hands. Oh, real quick, the uh, boots. Probably should have put the belt on before I put the cape on. The boots are uh, I like a nice low riding. You know, wear your belt around your waist, not your belly button. The boots are the same rubber as the uh, gauntlets, and everything's real easy to uh, pop on and off. Um, it is the uh, good ankle articulation. I didn't cover that. Um, as is a trend with some of the uh, some companies, we're getting uh, two-piece leg and then boot, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I'm a little bit spoiled on these now. Um, when I see a figure that's got a one-piece boot, uh, it's kind of like, <laughs> I, I, you know, it causes me to, to second guess whether or not I really want that character. Um, so I'm really glad they went that route. And so whatever pose you get your foot in, then you just push down on the, uh, the boot and it'll uh, hide that, that joint really well. And it looks, blends into and makes it looks like it's just... Uh, the uh, natural fold of the the boot or the uh, article, whatever it is. So it's kind of the same with the hands. Talk about those real quick. So one nice thing I've noticed, and I can't think of a single other figure I own that they did this. They included um, wrist pegs in each of the hand sculpts. So just real quick, we'll go over. You've got the two closed fists which come on him. Uh, if you want to put him in some brawling poses, you know. You got those available to you. And then uh, you've got these hands which I'm not really sure what those do. I guess, you know, you could pose him somehow, like if he's bracing himself or getting ready to leap over a, a balcony or something. I don't know. I'm not real sure. Maybe it's like a, uh, you know, like a uh, martial arts type, uh, I don't know, stance where he's got his palms open ready to catch a fist or catch a catch an arm or something that's coming at him. You got options there. And, uh, I don't know. Once I put these on, maybe I'll uh, I'll be able to visualize better what uh, what those are for. And then you've got these two hands, uh, the gripping hands, like I said, open palm, uh, close fist, open palm, and then a grip hand. So these it's a little variation of the open open hand, but uh, left right of each. And those are the all hands, six hands. Uh, so these, you know, if you look at them, they got a little bit of a trigger finger separation there, which I think would have been perfect for a grappling hook, the grappling gun, whatever. A uh, real big missed opportunity there, Sideshow, uh, to give us some more accessories. Uh, that would have been great. But alas, like I've said, all he comes with is two, count them, one, two batterings. So you got this, this one here, which... Uh, is what it is and this one here which has 
you know, more of a bat shape, more of a traditional, I think, looking battering. So this, uh, this hand here, uh, it's pretty, pretty good for putting the batterings in there. Uh, and I'm, I bet you could, I'm sure you can get some, some great poses, uh, on the hands with the batterings in this particular hand. So I'm going to put those aside. So again, nice thing is sideshow included a wrist peg inserted into each of the hands. That's fantastic. Now, having said that, there were no spare wrist pegs uh, at all. Which, So if you break one of these, you're going to have to revert to popping out and replacing the actual peg, uh, moving the peg from, from hand to hand. Uh, these come out real easy, not loosely. They're not loose. It's a nice, firm uh, grasp. Uh, so they're not going to be falling out or anything, but it, it's it's a pretty nice little, uh, I guess, I don't know, addition? I don't know what you'd call that. That was a good good move by uh, Sideshow there. Uh, so there you go. These pop out nice and easy. And like I told you before, just a rubber gauntlet slides right off. Nice and squishy. Uh, same thing with the, the little fins. So they're not going to break. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, they're formed really well. So not, like I was saying, I can't push. That's as much as I can get. But you can see the veins on this arm. Maybe. Maybe if it's not too bright. Um, there you have it. I, I, that's about as much as I can get without really stretching out this fabric beyond uh, what it's supposed to do. So I don't, I don't want to damage my figure and we'll just pop a different hand in there and we'll see uh, get a little bit of variety in there pops right in so there you go what's the verdict well I said in my unboxing and I think I mentioned it at the beginning of this video. I had a, uh, a coupon and some reward points that I put towards this guy. If I had not, I have to say I don't think I would have bought him. I would have waited to get him, you know, on clearance or, or aftermarket used something. I, I would not have paid full price had I not had... Um, you know, <laughs> coupons, etc. So, you know, how much do you like Batman? I freaking love Batman, okay? I really do. Um, but this is not a full price purchase, I gotta say, at the end of the day. Not a full price purchase. I love it. I really do. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, I love this figure, but <laughs> I would not pay two hundred and twenty dollars to get the exclusive version. You know, two hundred and twenty plus shipping. You know, not even free shipping would uh, would seal the deal on that. Um, it's just too light on accessories. Uh, that articulation, that elbow articulation, that's my personal thing. Um, so your mileage may vary. That may not matter to you at all. Uh, but that that's definitely a factor for me on deciding on whether or not I want a figure. Because if I, especially a fully uh, suited figure like this, I see this with uh, 90 degrees or less of um, movement, it's pretty much an automatic body swap. So for me to pay, pay full price for this figure knowing I'm then going to have to drop more money on the new body plus all the time uh in swapping it out the bodies that, that's that's a significant investment not only in, in money but in my time uh which is limited so again I, I how much do you love batman and can you find a bargain on him if so grab him because he he is a fantastic character but he is not worth what they're asking right now 
Um, and that's really unfortunate because I would like to see this trend in uh, materials and, and craftsmanship continue. But again, I just I, I can't recommend them for for the uh, for the asking price. Um, but like I was saying before, this uh, neck joint gives you some really good. Uh, you can get some nice moody downward cast uh, gazes, which is, you know, Batman. I mean, not even in a uh, contemplative uh, attitude, like put him on a, uh, make a little diorama of him on a rooftop or something, and he's looking down on the city, you know, hunting his prey and whatnot. But, uh, Again, great cape. As you can see, it really poses well. It gives you a lot of options. I think it's probably the best cape we've had. I don't own any of the custom capes from like Jackson or, or um, I can't remember who does the uh, the other Nolan Batman cape or even some of the, for any of the figures really, any of the custom Batman capes. But this is a great cape and you can see It'll close in front of him. It throws off his, you know, you can wear it. He can wear it off his shoulders, all the way back, and it it looks good in uh, every iteration. I've put it in. Uh, he can kind of gather it up around him. This is just a great. It's a great suit. It's a great cape. It's a great head sculpt. Uh, but I am really, really, really disappointed with the body underneath. Um, I just, man, why couldn't you have given me that double jointed elbow? It's freaking covered. Like there's ways around that. We've seen that how many times, how many figures do we own, uh, that have a double jointed elbow, uh, and it works really, really well. So I, 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 I don't understand that decision. And that's, uh, that's not the straw that breaks the camel's back, but, uh, obviously I still bought the figure again discounted and uh with rewards points i don't regret that i mean you know yeah i could have used those reward points for any other figure but i'm glad i have this batman i'm glad i sprung for the exclusive with the bruce wayne head uh again i i don't know i can't say this enough i would not pay full price for this figure and the head there's just nothing to him two two batterings and two extra pairs of hands. That's that's it. I mean, <laughs> how does that justify a two hundred dollar price tag? So, uh, again, your 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 mileage may vary. If you guys have a different opinion on the matter, I'd love to I'd love to hear it. Uh, um, I do love this figure, but not at full price. I wholeheartedly recommend the figure, but not at full price. Uh, if you can find a deal. You got reward points. You got coupons, dude. Get get him. He he is a fantastic Batman figure. Fantastic. Um, other than that that elbow, but everything else is just great. Uh, so there you have it, guys and girls. Uh, comments, questions, concerns. Leave me a uh, uh, shoot me a message. Whatever. I'd be happy to discuss or or, or hear your thoughts on the matter. Uh, but there you have him. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.